The West African country of Mali has been described as the next front in the war on terror. It has the ingredients, radical Islamists, harsh terrain, a weak central government. Back in January, French troops retook northern Mali from the Islamists, including the ancient city of Timbuktu. It's not just a name, it's a real place. And the post at Arsene Raghavan made it to Timbuktu and joins us now by Skype uh, to tell us what he saw there. Uh, Sadarsan, French troops stormed into Timbuktu, were able to take the city. And so now three months on, has life returned to normal? Is there still kind of a low-grade tension between those, those troops and the Islamists? Where did the things stand? Well, life has certainly has not returned to normal. In fact, uh, Timbuktu is really tr struggling to revive its illustrious past. Um, but, you know, it's really facing a difficult road ahead. The French, Italian, and African troops are still engaged in a, in a guerrilla struggle, actually, against the jihadists. Uh, many of the jihadists, although they have disappeared from the city, are still in some of the outer lying areas. They've, uh, they've blended within the population, and from there, they've been staging stealth attacks against uh, their, their enemies. And that includes two suicide bombings that have targeted soldiers and civilians uh, in the town. And many people fled as the Islamists came in. Are people returning home or is it a ghost town? What's the scene? Yes, Timbuktu certainly can be described as a ghost town. Uh, I, I spoke with uh, many residents there and they spoke about how the place uh, really used to be uh, bustling with traffic and people and tourists who came to visit uh, the famous mosques, ancient mosques and, and tombs of Sufi saints and also to see uh, the, you know, the tens of thousands of pages of manuscripts in both public and private libraries. Now all of that is gone. More than half the city's 60,000 population had fled when the Islamists had entered the city last April. Most of them have not returned yet. They fear that they may get attacked again by the jihadists, but also more uh, significantly, there are no jobs now in, in, uh, in uh, Timbuktu. The tourism industry has obviously dried up. Uh, people are really struggling to survive. Uh, they, they, there's only five hours of electricity per day. and. Uh, and a lot of shops uh, and, 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 and restaurants, hotels are shuttered. Yeah, so we've made this comparison or, or, or stated this, this possibility that this could be the next front in the, in the war on terror. How strong does that possibility seem on the ground? Are, are these the type of folks that are looking to project their, their ideology and, and their, their thoughts about the world on to Western targets? Is, is, is this Afghanistan again, or is this a more local thing? Well, what we're seeing now is you know, there are increasing similarities to uh, the battlefields in Afghanistan, Somalia, and Iraq. And that's largely the, the guerrilla nature of, of how this conflict is, is evolving. So, um, but to say that there, it's actually uh, becoming uh, an Iraq, Somalia, or Afghanistan, I think it's a little too early to tell. We're certainly seeing signs of it, but much is going to depend on how the, uh, uh, you know, how the, uh, the, the jihadists react to the UN peacekeeping forces when they arrive, um, how committed they are to, to, to keeping a, a long-term struggle going. U.S. involvement has been constrained by U.S. law because the government in Mali wasn't democratically elected. We're constrained in how we can involve ourselves. After these elections in July, we won't have that constraint if, there, if the election goes forward as planned. Does that mean that folks are expecting that the U.S. would play more of a role? Uh, there is definitely the, the sense that the Americans will boost their role. In, uh, in, in helping Mali. Already you're, the Pentagon has sent a handful of U.S. troops to serve as advisors to the French uh, and African forces. So the thinking here goes, if, if all goes well with the elections, uh, there will be, uh, there will be um, the U.S. will bolster its, uh, its presence by, you know, and resume uh, military aid to Mali. Okay, Siddharthan, uh, thanks for joining us. Back home in East Africa with the update on what's going on in West Africa. Uh, my pleasure.